three of the five positive integers p, q, r, s, t are even and two of them are odd. Not necessarily in order. Actually, this is very important. This not necessarily in order. Okay. So consider the following. So two statements are given. We need to check which, uh, which of the statements given are correct. So here, uh, you should understand the addition of odd numbers and even numbers very well. And I have already told you in my video and in my practice paper that that is actually very important. Okay. So uh, here you should understand that if you add two even numbers, even plus even will always be even. Even plus odd will give you an odd number. And odd plus odd will always be even. So this you need to understand very well. So here let us assume that so we have P then uh, actually this is uh, this is uh, also same for subtraction as well so i have given addition here for subtraction also it's the same even minus even will be even even minus odd will be odd uh, odd minus odd will be even so for subtraction and for addition it is the same so now here uh, there are five numbers p q r s t so let's assume that p q and r are even and let us assume that s and t are odd so let's take the first statement here so p plus q even plus even will be even so this is even now even plus r is even even plus even again so this much will be even then even minus odd is odd so odd minus odd will give you even so this is correct understood so now let us take the second statement here if you put like this if i consider p q r are even and s and t are odd so here i am writing the second statement here 2p plus q plus 2r minus 2s plus t okay so 2p p is even so 2p will be even q is even and r is even so 2r will be again even so this is even so even plus even even again plus even even so this will be even okay now s is odd s is odd here so 2 into s 2 into any number will be even so this become even so even minus even again this is even okay now this is t is odd so even plus odd is odd so you will get this as odd so you might think that this statement is correct but here upsc have said that not necessarily in order so that is actually very important so if i consider in the same statement if I consider P, Q, sorry, P, R and S as even and Q and T as odd, let's see what happens. Okay. So this is 2P will be even, even plus odd, even plus odd is odd, this is odd. Now 2R is even, R is even, so 2R will be even, odd plus even will become odd. So this is totally odd. Okay. Now S is again even. So odd minus even will be odd. So this is totally odd. Now t is odd. So odd plus odd will become even. So if I take in this order, I will get this as even. So this statement, second statement can be odd or even. So we cannot say that this is definitely odd. So statement 2 is actually wrong and statement 1 is only correct. So 1 only is the answer here. Okay.